Hello family, happy December. We are almost to 2019. I hope you guys are doing freaking fabulous. So with that being said, guys, I just want to tell you thank you for another fabulous, fabulous year. I'm so looking forward to putting these yearly reads out for you guys. I'm going to try to get all of December out first because I know that I'll be on vacation for a couple of days. So thank you so much, guys, for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your supports, being my friends during all of these transitions everything love you guys dearly with that being said let's talk about the energies that are coming in this month so on the second venus is going into the sign of scorpio um be prepared there's some deep relationship healing going on whether it's um relationship with yourself or relationship with others there is healing okay healing isn't always the greatest but it is beautiful once it's over, right? Because those wounds will be healed. Now, on the 6th, Mercury does go direct. Whoa, but there's still this two-week shadow phase. That doesn't mean that you can go and act a damn fool, okay? But it does mean that this is a great time for us to kind of really tie up everything and get everything off of our chest. On the 7th, we have a new moon in Sagittarius. So be ready for a video for that. The 22nd, a full moon in Cancer, zero degrees. And on the 24th, that moon will move right into Leo to bring in Christmas Eve. All right. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful holiday season. Whatever you celebrate may be filled with laughter, love, friends, family, and good times. And just be thankful during this time. Attitude of gratitude, okay? So with that being said, real quick, let's do a collective energy. Pick your card. Will it be card number one or card number two? So if you picked card number one, you picked rest. This is going to be a month for you to really communicate clearly. Think about the dolphin and how the dolphin works together as a teamwork. This may be a team effort, a family vacation, something just to end the year and just speak directly from your heart. And remember, you don't have to attack to protect your space. You just got to set that intention and they will work as a team and move things very, very, very well. So with that, this is card number eight in the deck. And what does that mean for us is um, basically communication, travel lots of you time is needed all right if you chose card number two we are back to communication it may be communication with your spirit guides communication with those that have moved on communication within yourself talking to yourself your self-talk and the way that you show up and show out in the world you will be receiving messages through butterflies flowers um i'm looking at some beautiful flowers right now synchronicities, number sequences, um, messages and songs. So be listening because your guides are near. But this is transformation. You're going through a beautiful, beautiful transformation. Appreciate every level that you're at and every way that you go. So guys, stay tuned. We have some beautiful reads coming in. I'm super, super excited. I love you guys so very much. Happy, happy holidays and be blessed. Love you. Hello Pisces, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your December tarot scope, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, guys. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. You might need them this month, big baby. All right, guys, let's jump into your read. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to do yours a little bit different. And it's mainly because of what you have coming in for your yang. So take a moment, I want you to look at these colors, the red, the green, and the yellow. Each one, and if you need all three, I understand, one of those is going to help you as you're receiving messages through your crown chakra. The red is probably gonna be needed for all. And this is your root chakra, your moldahara, and this is when you need to develop a grounded nature in order to manifest abundance and limitless, limitless energy. Check your muldahara. Check how grounded you are this month. Um, hematite, black tourmaline, red jasper, garnet, and bloodstone are very good for you to have this. If your muldahara is deficient, you may um, lack self-esteem. If it's um, super excessive, this is highly sexual nature, um, being very dominatrix, not dominatrix, being very dominating in personality. So if you're imbalanced there, 
ground, 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 um, light a red candle, work with the color red, that kind of energy so that you can receive your messages that are coming through for your on your crown. Now, if you're in your heart space, you chose green. And here this we're working with unconditional love, emotional balance, and also um, if we're deficient, we're paranoid, okay? And we're we feel unloved and we're unsure. If we're excessive, we can be demanding and depressive, very manic, depressive, intense, okay? Does it mean you're crazy? It means like you go from highs to low really, really quickly, okay? So to work with that, watermelon, tourmaline, rose quartz, rodentite, light a green candle, work with the color green, um, do things that make you happy, okay? Sing, dance, laugh. Now, if you're dealing with yellow, if yellow was the color that really drew your attention, you're working with your solar plexus, your mani pura, and that's above your navel, and I'm rubbing my belly, so some of y'all might be experiencing stomach issues. If you're deficient in this area, you're gonna lack personal energy, low self-esteem, and you may be a little insecure. If you're excessive, you tend to be a workaholic, okay? And you have a, like, you resent authority. You wanna go for a good self-esteem, strong personal power, good boundaries, and being relaxed when you feel confident in your Mani Pura, okay? And you're probably wondering, why did you start to read like this? Well, it'll all come together in a minute. As I was pulling your cards, that just came to me to go ahead and do, okay? So on your yang energy, your male energy coming through, it's Elijah, and Elijah was a very amazing prophet, and he was not a coward most of the time. <laughs> it was he who, on God's instruction, challenged the prophets of the god Baal to successfully that they gave up in despair. But Elijah was taken up in the chariot of fire. And as you look upon Elijah riding in his fiery chariot, think of the people who have shown great faith in you, even when you lost faith in yourself, okay? Now, Elijah means God is Yahweh, okay? So do you, feel, do you follow your crown chakra? Do you follow your intuitive messages and turn to faith when you, when you are in difficult circumstances? Or do you turn to something else? And that's why I was asking you, which color resonates with you so that you can work with that to be able to open up your crown to receive the message. And remember, working with the root chakra is something we may have to do on a daily basis. All of us need to stay grounded and we have a tendency to get shaken up there a lot, okay? Now, we have Diana coming in with the yin energy, our feminine energy, and it's telling you to move with unwavering faith. Faith is your word this month, okay? Your focus needs to be strong and powerful, especially around the full moon on the 22nd at zero degrees cancer, okay? This may be a time that you receive a lot of downloads, intuitive messages, um, motherly healing, okay? This is because your angels and guides are sending you important messages that you may be missing during the day because you're so busy. Put those things aside and make sure that you meditate this month, okay? Whew, Pisces, sorry. The butterfly is your power insect. <laughs> and this isn't a bad message. I just kind of like, I'm overwhelmed by all the energy that you guys have. <laughs> um, the butterfly is very significant to transformation. The butterfly goes in through this dark phase and doesn't know what the hell is coming out on the other end. They just know that they're gonna come out transformed. And she's on top of the yellow flower, so very significant of the solar plexus. Have confidence during this transformation that you will be coming out okay. A lot of times people are like saying, oh, will I ever find the, uh, the love of my life? Well, yes, you will. Will I ever get the perfect job? Yes, you will. You have to believe that you will. You have to have that faith that you will. Have faith that your transformation is coming, okay? Mentally, I know y'all are going through the gigs because when Isis comes out, Isis don't be playing, guys. <laughs> so this is blessings from the Divine Empress, the Queen of Heaven. Um, and she wants you to acknowledge your feminine authority, which if we look at this, it would be Diana, right? So this is confirmation to step forward in leadership if you've been considering doing so. You're being asked to step up corporately or in your family or in your spiritual life, and it's time for you to do it. Power is not about assuming authority over others, but about living in your truth and integrity and leading by example. Um, allow the release of forgiveness that comes with compassion and the freedom of willingness to grow, which brings that your relationship to authority will be healed, okay? And I think the authority that you may be dealing with is the matriarch of pipes. 
because when I was reading through the Matriarch of Pipes, it, it's just not a very, it doesn't sound like a Piscean energy, <laughs> but maybe it is. However, the Matriarch of Parts, uh, Pipes can be a little bit snobby, okay? She's pretty adaptable and she's very persistent and calm, but um, her capacity for friendship and love is immense, but the initiative must be her own. This is a person who does not, if she doesn't like you, she don't like you and she don't give a damn dirty F, okay? <laughs> but there is a lot of pride in this person and she can be very vain. So if this is your energy or someone else's energy, the way to work with that is through sound, okay? And sound is coming through at the number 31, which comes down to the number 4. Sound is a form of energy which resonates deep within our soul. Music is going to help you during this time. And right now, listen to the lyrics of the music and pay attention to what you're listening to because that's going to guide you through this. Education and learning new skills are possible right now. Stagnant energy can be transmuted easily through artistic and musical expression, whether through sketching, drawing, painting, singing, dancing, or playing an instrument. Breathe in new life and blow out the old life. You are also working with sound, with learning to listen before you speak. And not that you're being rude or anything. It's listen to exactly what they're saying so that you can understand. It's listening to understand because there's something you're missing. Now, your soul level is no other than the badger, baby. You was just rah, 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 rough and tough over here. This is shadow, repression, and denial, okay? Badgers may be the strongest animal in the world for their size, and most people who observe them on attack never forget their ferocity, all right? So be aware of that. The badger's reputation as a fearsome carnivore keeps larger animals away. It's the greatest natural enemy in man. So this is telling you to look internally to the dark places within you. There's a lot of shadow work going on this month for you, okay? Explore yourself as you would explore a dark cave. The available light or conscious knowledge grows progressively dimmer. And there's like all these like crevices from past experiences where something is waiting for you to discover it. All right? It's time to explore your inner darkness. His strength is not there to stop you, but to encourage you and aid in it. What are you losing your faith in? Are you losing your faith in yourself because you're being asked to step into this leadership role? Have you allowed somebody else's energy to kind of dictate how you should feel and how you should move forward? That's what's coming to me. Now, your numbers are 1, 31, and 11, right? Which comes down to 1, 4, and 2, which equals to a 7. So for me, 7s are like highly spiritual numbers. 142 is a tendency to work towards your goal and try new things. Release the old and change. Don't lose yourself pursuing your goals, okay? The message that I got while I was looking at your cards is Pisces. The message and vibes you are getting are real. Trust the process because it will help you achieve your goal. Face everything face on or head on because of the way that the faces are all looking at me. Face it. Even the parts that scare you, even the parts that bring that sense of fear, the unknown, it's asking you, this is the time for complete transformation. Moving forward. In January, we have another eclipse, okay? I forget where it's at. Let me, let me check my notes up. On January, I know that we have an eclipse coming through, a full moon lunar eclipse, zero degrees Leo, okay? So uh, it's, it's telling you to get ready for this kind of energy. That's what I'm kind of feeling right now. So let's jump into your read, Pisces. I have done a lot on your mind, body, and soul. And this is for Pisces, sun, moon, and rising, if I didn't say that. Okay, we got a one. So we're at a new beginning. Bless these cards for Pisces. Show us the energies that they're working with. All right. And I think you are dealing with a female who is very like to the point. If that's not you, that's someone else. And there doesn't seem to be any healing in this process. This could be Gemini, Leo, oh, Gemini, maybe a Leo because she has a line on her head. Gemini, Aquarius, or um, I don't know why I want to say Virgo. Maybe it is a Virgo for somebody. But Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? Air sign, someone who's very decisive, but there's no healing going on, and so it's making it very tough. And I think who that's who the matriarch of pipes is wanting to represent. And maybe that's your, your moon or your rising. 
Um, and you might want to work with that area so that you can have some healing come through. Whoa, what's going on here? I like all my cards just want to come out. Okay, so in the past we have the devil reversed, okay? So this is significant to Capricorn energy, but this also is very significant to releasing of the burden, saying, okay, that's not my fault, about something that used to bring you joy, a relationship. <sighs> mm. There's a lot of transformation. It always gets hard around the holidays, so be very kind to yourself. The Carib of Wands is coming in to bless the situation. Whoa. Maybe that's why I felt Virgo. We have the Hermit coming out. Hermitize, baby, Hermitize. And then we have the Magician upright. Come on, Magician, hang in there. Let me move the camera. Overall energy is the Four of Wands reverse. So I kind of feel like there's like, you're afraid to celebrate right now. And somebody is doing the most, okay? <laughs> because at the bottom of the deck, I have like, 444 four, four. and um, that's very significant to me um, to me to um, having to deal with what's going on why did my timer stop oh wrong one so significant to somebody doing the most activity okay and when I say doing the most they like really doing the most okay <laughs> now the devil is coming through and it's releasing these burdens so I feel like you let something go a relationship a friendship something that you feel very closely tied to okay so let's kind of see how we're working through that energy real quick Pisces chaos and con oh no a change in the wind so for me this is hold on tight it's a bumpy ride but it's going to get better okay significant to new things coming in new awareness there was information that came in an exchanging of energies it's gonna blow over hold on tight okay in the present we're at the six of cups reverse meaning we're just like man where did all the pleasures go and this isn't like if this does not fit you Pisces I completely understand okay this message is for somebody. The Six of Cups reverse is like something that you used to find joy and pleasure in. It was a friendship, a relationship, a job, something from the past. But at the moment, you're not very happy with it. And it's kind of, it's kind of harmful. It, it hurts your feelings and you're being very sensitive about it because of the cups being everywhere. My goodness, my nose is wanting to bleed. Some of y'all must be really upset. Okay. And we're dealing with octopus energy. I'm going to tell you, this is about shape-shifting. This is like, you feel like you have to change everything about yourself in this situation. And it, I feel like it really hurt your feelings. Okay? And the octopus is about entanglement. Don't allow somebody's energy to entangle you in their dramas. Okay? You can free yourself from the shit, the situation. <laughs> From the situation, from the situation, all right? And you have a spirit guide here, and this is a spirit guide of action. It's the carob of wands with the lion-headed spirit. So I feel like you have to go forth with courage and just do it. Like you're gonna have to face it head on, okay? So let's see what's going on with this carob. Let's see, let's go with a guidance card, not that, that one. Mm, okay, the Shaman's Oracle. This is a intense one. Spirit of Wisdom. So the Spirit of Wisdom is coming in. For me, I feel like this is, we're going on a trip on the perfect rocket ship. <laughs> Little Einstein. But I feel like it's about pulling in all of those things that you know. And it's about going within yourself. And it goes right back to that badger energy, right? Because the hermit is there with the answer. And the hermit is telling you, you got to go within the spirit of wisdom is leading you within yourself, okay? Now, the advice from the hermit is just telling you, like, hey, you got to go within yourself because you have divine guidance from your higher power, okay? Oh, my goodness. I don't know why my timer's going off. Stop. Stop. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> anyway, if I go back to the spirit of wisdom, I want you to pay attention to the signs that you notice. Animals, numbers, songs, etc. I feel like it's going to come through with song lyrics because of the sound card that came out. The hermit is telling you, pull back a little bit. Don't allow this energy to work your nerves because I feel like it's very overpowering. Because if you think about the octopus, think about how it goes in the water. 
and it just like suctions everything to it. So it's a very like uh, energy. I can't. Even, I don't even want to use the word because I don't want y'all to think I'm being super negative. It's a boo boo energy, okay? <laughs> a boo boo energy. The hermit. I'm gonna see what kind of guidance the hermit wants you to look at. You're definitely dealing with the arts. That's going to make you feel better. If you get crafty over the holidays and you want to make stuff, do it. <laughs> you have Paul the Venetian showing up and he's expressing his grace. His heart chakra is opening up, okay? Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration are coming to you. And the, the Paul the Venetian works with a lot of the artists. <laughs> He works with art, he works with music, he works with beautiful, beautiful things. And whatever creative ideas you're having right now, you're being inspired, use those to channel your gift, okay? Recognize that you do have gifts to express. Now, he brings waves of good energy and grace and encouragement and works with all artists, musicians, designers, and anyone else who needs support in channeling their talents. And what he's going to do is bring you that wisdom. You're going to go within your heart space using the badger and you come out as the magician. Okay? Though the magician is telling you, take action, move forward. You are in complete control. That person does not control you. You can overcome it. I think it's going to be overcome with a homemade gift. I don't know why, but I'm thinking like, I don't know, artsy, craftsy. You're going to make a photo album or a scrapbook or something, and it's going to change it. And this is the number 44, okay? So eight, thinker. Do not get stuck in analysis paralysis. Move forward. Be very strategic in the way that you proceed with the situation. Trust the messages you're receiving. There's a reason why that heart chakra on Paul the Venetian has that beautiful pink rose. There's something to be applied to this situation, okay? Now, the Four of Wands reversed is coming through and it's basically just saying something like, hey guys, there is no foundation right now. Things aren't moving the way that we want them to move. Um, why is this going crazy? My whole phone is going crazy. Um, so the Four of Wands is just telling you basically, sorry, I'm repeating myself, no foundation right now, all right? So we've got to rebuild the foundation. We've got to work forward. And I want to pull guidance on how to work with the foundation. And funny, I rolled the four again. Four is going to be a significant number for you also, all right? Because I have Four of Wands, 44, and then I just rolled a four. I'm going to laugh if four cards fall out. <laughs> Well, damn. <laughs> and let's make sure because I don't want to. I knew it. Okay, so the Four of Wands is telling you that you need more information. It's an illusion, and that's why there's no foundation right now. You have to trust your crown chakra. You're going to have to pull back from the situation. Be very analytical and strategic as you move forward, and that's what Thinker is trying to tell you. Don't overthink it, but do put some thoughts into it. And I really feel like it's a gift that's going to heal the situation, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be an expensive gift. I mean, I think it's like something that you make, Pisces, because it's going to be like a peace offering. All right. So to sum up your read, you have Bighorn and Bighorn is coming in and it's basically telling you principles, principles, principles. Can you stand up for what you believe in? Even if other, uh, I cannot talk. Others try to um, humiliate you. Let go of material things. Okay. This card is calling you to awaken to what's important to you in the spiritual realm. Now, your crystal this month is Moldavite. It's great for grounding and connecting. It comes um, here to help you see the bigger cosmic picture while reminding us to appreciate the beauty and gifts of the places of where we are. This powerful stone facilitates working with masters and other cosmic beings, opening and raising your own levels of cosmic consciousness. So Moldavite works more subtly with all aspects of disease with the body, and it uncovers the source for diagnostic sessions, okay? It's great for working with emotional causes of illness. Drawing this card signifies it's time to appreciate the good things that you already have in your life. Make plans to change what holds you back from fulfilling your intentions. So... We do have this Mercury retrograde that's going on. No need to fear, guys. It's cleared up by the 6th of December. But remember, we have shadow period. So to help guide you through the shadow period of this, be impeccable with your word. Realize the power of your word. Your word is the power that you have to create. It is a gift that comes directly from the divine. 
So that is what's going to help you with the illusion in order to move forward and heal the relationship or the situation that's been going on. All right. So if you have, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like your free, I cannot talk Pisces. Ah! Y'all are tongue-tied on what you need to say, okay? The, the point here with your read, because I am like tripping on my words, you are so afraid to say the wrong thing to this person or this individual or whatever they are to you that you're, you're tripping on your words. Don't worry. You've got this. Your heart is beautiful. Trust what your crown chakra is telling you. Trust the, the messages you're receiving. They want to talk to you too. And it may not end the way that you desire it to end, okay? It may not end perfectly. You may not stay together. You may decide to go separate ways. But there will be healing in the situation, all right? Speak from your heart. You've got it going on, Pisces, all right? So, if you're interested in a reading, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Also, there's something about timing going on also because my watch kept going crazy. So be aware of the timing of the situation. Be very strategic. And if you're ever bored, you can hang out with me Monday nights on the gram at 9 p.m. for live readings. Be blessed, Pisces.